Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a face shave now is pretty much going to be almost all Canadian. So the soap for today is going to be First Canadian Shave Soap Company, Grand Valley Vetiver, which is tallow, lanolin and silk based soap formula, soap base. Um, we've got stearic acid, coconut oil, water, potassium hydroxide, tallow, castor seed oil, glycerin, lanolin, shea butter, fragrance and silk. So a nice clean set of ingredients. The label is meh, it's about as good as it gets from me. Very bland, very boring. Yeah, I can only imagine, I mean this is the old label I believe, I don't know what the new labels look like. But yeah, it's nice enough. I don't think this is waterproof either, or water resistant, it feels like normal paper. So consistency in the air, it is reasonably soft. Now this looks, this was shit sent over from Sean Mullen from Moyle Grooming and it looks like it's been scraped out into a bowl similar to what Don Young does over on Wet the Face. Now the scent on this one, the vetiver, obviously it is vetiver, it is a vetiver scent, it's right there, but there's a little bit more going on. It's, a, it's actually quite a light, refreshing sort of scent, so it'll be interesting to see how this one smells once it's actually lathered up, and obviously let's see how the performance is of it. Now the brush for today will be another Yaki brush, and it's going to be this. I'm not sure what this brush is called. It is a 26mm, as you can see, 26, Yaki Brush Professional 26. 26mm finest, two band finest brush. It's bordering on three band. If you actually look, you've got the light dark and then a light down the bottom here, but I think this is a two band. And the tips on it are really, really soft and they are actually starting to gel straight off the bat. Now I've test lathered this brush once and that's it, so straight into the dry soap with the sort of damp brush. Just dip in the tips there, it needs a little bit more water in the tips. Yeah, it's actually a really nice scent. In terms of vetiver, I'm not a massive vetiver fan. I do have a nice vetiver aftershave which I'll not be using today, I'll actually be using a moil grooming aftershave today, which will be Marlog Wood, is it Marlog? Marlog Wood. Really looking forward to this. The Canadian products, you know, I have to say, are really top notch products. Talon Steel Elvado, this will be the first one with Bush Canadian Shave Soap Company. But even the razor today, which will be the Carve, is just a phenomenal razor. Just dip at the tips of once more, this will be the last sort of part of the load, I'm not going to load any more than this, this is actually way more than what I think I'm going to need, but I don't know how this 26mm 2 band finest is actually going to perform, so there's the brush loaded, there's one hair gone, haven't lost many hairs from this brush, I haven't lost many hairs really from any of the Yaki brushes, in fact from memory I think the synthetic barber pole brush actually lost the most fibres so far. Just scooping out the excess from the top. Now I'm not sure whether this is fragrance oils or whether it is actual vetiver scent. I don't think it actually says on there. It just says fragrance. So fragrance can obviously mean fragrance oils or it could mean essential oils. Oh, this is quite creamy. But this is very creamy. Really nice set. Washed off my hands really easy there, which doesn't give me a great indication of slickness. You can see just a little peak just on there. So let's paint this load on. Getting some water in. So first day back at work today, I had five days off. I'm now on six days straight, one day off, three days on, two days off, three days on, two days off, and then 
something something similar again I think it does have good scent strength as well it's certainly overpowering the little bit of funk left in the brush some more water really really soft knot I have to say I've been really impressed so far with the quality of the natural hair brushes the natural hair knots out of Yaki Twenty four mil silver tip. It's not only one of the nicest natural hair brushes I've used, knots. It's also probably the nicest looking knot that I've used. stuff is lathering up. An absolute treat. That is a stunning lather. Look at the brush, it is absolutely chock block, it really is. Right, the carve razor, the Christopher Bradley carve razor, or the carve razor. Wilkinson Sword Vintage Blade, made in the UK, made in Great Britain, sent over by Martin Rowland in Scotland, over in Glasgow, and here we go. So the carve razor, I haven't used this for a little bit, I've been using the Yaki brush, Yaki razors, but I've got the Vintage Blade in here, it's the C plate, it's 0.85 blade gap, and let's just see how it feels again. Super smooth. My son is actually laid in bed behind me, watching Teen Titans or something on TV. He's not been very well. Lovely. Right, residual slickness. Let's see how we go. actually feels not too bad. Let's have a little test with the razor, see how it's it's just at the point where there's enough that it doesn't stick but it's not super slick. Like obviously using the talon steel and other other formulas that I've got not, not talon steel but other soaps. The flow through on this brush is really nice. tell you whoever ends up with these products in the demo will be very happy.
I don't need a super thick ladder for the second one, but as you can see, the soap and the brush, I have no problems whatsoever in providing one, really easily. Excellent soap, very easy to lather, very easy to work with, it's definitely great during the shave. I know it's cutting it because I can hear the feedback. It's just so smooth. Definitely feels now like it's a little bit more residual slickness there. It definitely is. Obviously, after the second pass, you've applied it twice now. You do tend to get a little bit better residual slickness on most soaps on that second ladder. We can see that building straight away. I haven't dipped the tips, I haven't done anything with this so far. You can see it down here. It's not voluminous like those first two. But that's still impressive. Super smooth, super close, cannot grumble. The blade really nice, it's not as nice as the Persona, it's definitely not as nice as a spoiler. I would say it's probably more on a par with the Gillette Super Stainless behind me. They're very close, they're all very smooth, but this one's just... trailing ever so slightly, I can feel a slight difference. Beautiful, absolutely lovely. Into the sink out there. Now, I've got a little bit of irritation. But it's nothing to do with the shave. Well, it is, that's what's caused it. But it's mainly to do with the fact that I shaved about 15 hours ago. So it's really what I'm doing is I'm just 
not leaving enough time for my skin to rest and actually get back to its best, or close to its best before I started shaving again. So it's more of a over shaving irritation rather than a, a burn or anything from the actual soap itself. I can feel that, it's not a, a chemical burn or anything, that sort of feel. Just rinsing the brush out now. So you can see the tips on that. You can see them all starting to gel already. It's a really, really nice knot. The handle is nice. It's a nice shape as well. I'll just give you a bit better look at it. But it's a... Uh, well, post shape is nice. Post shape is really nice. It's just not my favourite sort of colours in that handle. Very sort of... But I, 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 well, I suppose people that like cigars and things like that, pipes, would probably enjoy it. Now, I'll just set that to the side. I'm trying to have a quick feel of the post shave. Really moisturised, really, really nice. Lovely. So I've got no, that I can see, oh, is that a weeper? I think that's a one weeper from full shave again. Really nice. Can't grumble at that. I'm happy with that. So I'm going to finish off now with Moil Grooming. And uh, this one is Marlowe Wood. Very woodsy sort of scent. 100% essential oils. Amazing skin food. If you haven't seen the ingredients list, there it is right there. So it's denatured alcohol, organic wood, chazel, vegetable, glycerin, aloe vera juice, jojoba oil, fractionated coconut oil, castor oil, liquid lanolin, grapefruit, seed oil, and essential oils. So wonderful, wonderful product. Now the scent on this one straight out of the bottle is a beautiful wood, so the slight sweetness is almost cologne type. Really nice. And once again, it's just a one, two, three, three splashes. There's literally none in my hand, hardly anything. Now one thing I will say about this product, it will last you a long time, three drops at a go, you're using minuscule amounts of this bottle of stuff per shave, and it's just pure, beautiful woodsy sort of scent, I mean it is really like freshly cut woods, and it's really nice, I'm really really impressed with it. The post shave feel off it is exceptional, there's a very 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 light initial burn from the alcohol just a zing and that's it done and then you just get this lovely scent and the scent does linger for quite a while so if you don't want it to clash with your aftershaves it's probably not the best but the skin food is so good in it just make sure you mix it or you match it with an aftershave or a cologne that matches the scent that you're using so if you're using a woodsy one use maybe like an oud or something like that so a scented aftershave just to mix with the woods and it'll, it'll really work yeah beautiful beautiful scent so the soap for today let me see if this is waterproof. Actually, I'm going to take that back. I think these labels are at least water resistant. I've just put a bit of water on there. It hasn't affected it whatsoever. So definitely water resistant or water sort of proofish. Now the label itself is pretty much bang on centre. It's just the fact that that isn't centre to the, the brown part, the actual black logo. It's just it's a bit off putting from here. It looks really off. but. It's clean, it's, uh, it's what you see, there's not much to it. I've not seen the latest labels, if they've got new labels out, I don't know what they look like. But the tub itself, nice labelling on the tub. You've obviously got the Grand Valley Vetiver there. You've got Made in Small Batches and Fussed Over, quite good, on the back. And then you've got all your ingredients and stuff on the bottom. Really nice scent. It's uh, a good solid four or five out of the tub. It sits about the same when you're actually lathering it up. But the soap itself lathers up easy, performs really well, it's slick enough to get a great shave. The residual slickness is good. It's not as good as others, but it is very good. Now this could be an old formula, I'm not 100% sure. The brush was this 26mm Yaki. Two band finest. And the tips on this are so soft. Like super, super soft. You can, I don't know whether you'll be able to see actually. Just how sort of hooked and 
all the tips are so fine and they are starting to hook and there's a few split in here as well that I can see this is going to be an absolutely incredible knot with a few more uses this is brand new it's been used twice so you give this another 10 15 20 uses and you're going to be stuck with a very 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 nice knot and not my sort of style handle but a very nice handle as you can see it's well, I've got two four six eight so I've got an octagon style handle on the bottom there and it follows suit all the way up now this I'm not sure how they actually made this handle I'm not sure whether it's like an injection molding and then they take it out and then I've just polished it up sanded it and polished it it is in my opinion pretty much flawless there is no marking on it there's no real mess or anything there's no scratches or anything on it I don't know how they've done it but they've done a very good job it's a lot of weight to it it's a good size handle you get a good grip on it and it's actually quite comfortable to hold like that just from the shape of it it's got good grip round to get your fingers in and grip on it it's a really nice brush I cannot fault it it really is a great brush with a great knot great handle just the colours nicer colours and you're on to a winner with it I think personally the razor today was the cut off back to the cut off really enjoyed it solid brass CNC machined in Canada and that's Chris Kirchin I have been trying to contact him yesterday and the day before he still hasn't got back to me so hopefully I hear something from him soon the customer service side has really went by the wayside once again and yeah it's not great I love this razor I promote it I get it out there and I can't even get a hold of it at the moment it's just a nightmare it's a really really poor setup I've offered to help I've offered to even run his email system for him and actually get back to people albeit I can't give them the answers they need 9 times out of 10 but there's nothing worse than not receiving anything at all and sometimes just a quick email to say that I'm really sorry I'm struggling in behind time I'm looking to get them out I'm looking to get them out but you know it makes a difference it makes a massive difference to me as a business owner as well that's what your customers expect and deserve you know it's the basically my, my motto and what I actually had in my van was the the quality you expect the service you deserve so it's that's the way I sort of look at business it's not about getting the product to someone's door instantly or really quick it's about making them part of the process and making sure that they are in the loop know where they sit and know when they're getting the product you know some people wait months and months and months and months look at Brockwell Model T two years they've not been the best with the customer service either but they have kept people in the loop sort of albeit the big gaps between they'll say we'll get back to them in three months I know they're rolling them out now and they're useless but this isn't this is a great product it just needs a customer service to follow suit when it does he'll really be on to a, on to a winner in my opinion he's got he's got the potential here to have one of the best double-edged safety razor making companies in the world it just needs to pull the reins in and actually sort the customer service side out and I think he'll sort it out eventually hopefully if he doesn't it's going to have a very short lifespan in this business in my opinion no matter how good your product is you need to keep the people happy just my opinion on it my old grooming now can't remember who it was commented on the video oh, gee, my, my memory's just absolutely terrible Craig can't remember saying that Moyle in Irish is obviously it's the word for bald so that's in bald now I don't know whether Sean named it after that because he is now a, actually not a head shaver whether it's called that but I think it's part the, the other sort of meaning of the word is bare and I think that's the line that he was going down hopefully so my old wood very very woodsy scent it does hang around, it does change. The wood actually smells like a different wood now. So however he's done it, whatever he's put in here, how he's mixed it and blended it, how, I mean, essential oils generally sit on the top. So once you give it a good shake, the, obviously the amount of the oils that he's put in will release gradually as you use it. The scent will hang around for an hour or two, maybe a little bit longer, but it's the skin food you want from this stuff. And let me tell you, your skin feels so, so hydrated once you use it, but not greasy or oily at all, with three tiny little drops in your hand. So. Other than that, I really enjoyed that shave. I'm looking forward to getting stuck into a couple of more Canadian products and a couple of more Canadian soaps uh, to see how they go. I did test Lada Cola from Strop Shop. So Strop Shop, yeah, I think. And it was really good lather, really good lather. So I might bowl lather that again because I bowl lather that and I got a really good lather from it. I might just see how it go again. It took me a while, but it was a great lather. But other than that, thanks for watching. Stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive and I'll catch you guys for another shave. Cheers.